bit of like an ornate circle as a lot going on. It looks kind of like the world. So we have that and then we draw from tarot today. Hi Empress, looking gorgeous. Messages for Libra. Inbox. Somebody's going to be messaging. That's what I heard right now. Someone messaging the Empress. Okay. And then we do light seers for some tarot clarification because I'm missing my muse deck right now. Okay. So let's see what's going on um, with the cosmic insights deck. I did see give it time and I do want to keep that. Everything in di divine says diving timing. <laughs> Miss Brent. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Flow energy, Libra. Okay. Spirit wants you to be in the ebb and flow of things, not to plan and don't be super uh, precise about things. Just let it flow. Give it time with a small plant. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. A little bit of that feeling. Okay. Independence. Seven could be overcoming obstacles as well. Okay. Seven is that number. Hence, Seven of Swords. The answer is no at this time. Do not proceed forward. Now wouldn't be the time to do that. It's not the right time, it says, with a bumblebee. A bee in a plant could be that because you're planting the seeds of your own progression. I do see a lot of nature here. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Emphasis more on the Capricorn or the Virgo. <laughs> okay. The next is divorce. Okay. So something could have happened here. This could have been a real divorce. Okay. I... I don't say that lightly on the channel. I do have a sincere empathy for those of you that are signing papers at this time and are going through a difficult divorce. It says experiencing a breakup. Okay. Give me more energy here for the Empress, Justice, and Scales. That one's trying to pop out. Vacation. You will be traveling soon. This one popped out and wanted to come out. Okay. More messages for them. What's going on here? Uh, give me some insight. Give me some insight for Libra. Spirit and angels, a little bit more messages here. Let's keep the train moving. Let's keep it moving. You have move on. Okay, some definite messages here, Libra. I feel like spirit's really speaking through to the cards. Someone is unavailable and emotionally unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. So this says move on. It's a clearance card. Okay. Um, we're going to clarify move on and vacation because I feel like your top cards are, are very easy to come by and they're self-explanatory. A little bit more here for Libra, please. And I heard stop. Intuition. Yeah. The red flags are cautioning you. This is the time to back off. Come back later. Okay. Intuition with a, a little bit of a fortune telling ball there for us. Okay. Intuition. Trust your gut. Your intuition is your stomach, your gut, everything that you feel there in the center. Some of you need to do some root chakra work as well. Get in touch with those yoga poses because it will ground you, okay? Um, you have, I don't want to take that one. You have date night. <laughs> there, was a, there was a seven of swords -y card. You have date night. Get ready to wine and dine. Or get ready to be wined and dined. Ooh, okay. Someone else. You have the someone else card. That one reads, someone is in the middle Someone is trying to sabotage this. Yeah, I was getting self-sabotage uh, things this morning. A little bit of that type of messaging for you. Um, it could be like, Libra, this is not third party. I actually don't like to talk about third party a lot on my channel. I don't, I don't believe it's always the other woman. It can be a friend or a family member of the person that you were dating. It could have been a mom, um, a maternal energy, or it could have been a best friend or best friends of this person. So it's not always the other person. Okay. I just want to be clear on that. It's just someone else trying to interfere. Bottom of the deck, let go. You have a lot of this divorce, let go, moving on energy, and it's very clear, especially with spirits saying you need a vacation or a vacation in this case. Okay, so at the bottom, not much. It just says water sign there, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so let's clarify some of these cards for you. Let's do divorce and let go. Okay, clarify the divorce and let go card for Libra Spirit. Let's see what's going on here with the letting go action and the release. We had a video about releasing yesterday, so that could have spoke to you. I'm hearing top. Yep, the devil, the tower. Yeah, the knight of cups. Somebody might be wanting to come back with this knight of cups card. It's very romantic. It's about an offer. It's also about stealing you away for a quick moment. So... Tower, tower returned. 
We do have somebody in your energy. They could be creating the tower for you without your permission. Um, your action right now is to let go of this situation. Wait for a better time. You could be thinking about it in the background, Libra, but for some of you, I really believe that someone's going to bring a tower moment and try to create some drama. So at this time, with that being said, it could be shielded by romance. It could look romantic on the surface, but at the bottom, there's some bad intentions. And sometimes the tower comes in to wipe them out of the way. <laughs> so I'm just being honest with you. Sometimes it's not even for you. It's actually to show you who they are. Okay. Uh, let's clarify. Give it time. What does Libra need to know with give it time? Thank you, spirit. We have a flipper, the queen of pentacles. Okay, so this could be you or them as energies are interchangeable. This could be their energy to come forward, bring a gift of offering, even to offer nurturing you. Okay, you have a lot of plant life here. So somebody wants to bring in something new to grow something new. You have the bees here, sexual energy. You also have a plant, Sagittarius temperance be patient at this time like i said before you go forward there needs to be a time here of just being by yourself again nine of cups popped out so you're to be content working on yourself some of you could be working on your fitness and trying to uh, just grow as a person maybe grow here spiritually five of wands some competition around you or them at this current time or people speaking in both of your ears okay this is definitely a love read for sure Give me more advice on this five of wands. Why is this five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Angels, please tell me why this five of wands, the five of swords, the five of cups. Yeah. Clarifying is also the two. So the two of cups showing here is, is like my reunion card after these come out. Okay. Deep regret, missing the past. I did mention a reunion with the sun card in today's previous video. So this person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your reading. A defined Sagittarius here off to the side. This comes after a period of regret and a lot of remorse between the two of you. So if you want to get out of this Five of Swords or even if you're feeling it, Tower is going to be brought in, okay? That Tower card showed up for a reason. Why, why are they coming in as the Knight of Cups? What's happening here with the Knight? Show me the Knight of Cups, please, Spirit. What is the Knight of Cups for Libra? And who is this person? Who's the Knight of Cups? Who is the Knight of Cups? Please, thank you, thank you. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, it's your offering person. So whoever was supposed to offer you something or come in, and I believe they missed their chance. I feel it from the card. They actually were supposed to do this days ago or even weeks ago, Libra. So they are late. And this is tardy energy from the Knight of Cups. Uh, if you didn't get this offer in some way, they're coming back around, okay? I see someone taking a car and swinging in back around in my vision. A little bit more in the Knight of Cups energy. Um, please, angels, supply more information here for this particular person. Who's the Knight of Cups? Strength card can be a Leo. We picked up Leo in the previous video as well. You also have other Leo cards here. Five of Wands, and you also have... What was your other Leo-like energy? It did show up. Oh, maybe that was it. Okay, so you have a strength card. I kind of feel like this speaks to you, Libra. You're supposed to be the one right now to be keeping to yourself and not saying much. Moving in silence, being in your empress or emperor glow with silence. Um, as you can see, she's nurturing a small sheep. So that's everything right now that you're protecting that you want to keep on the mum on the low this is including successes okay some of you are like keeping a personal success on the low as well too um knight of cups energy thank you spirit a couple are peeking out more seven of pentacles and the lovers okay so there's our message there they're coming in extremely slow with the seven of pentacles to be quite honest with you what i sense is there's going to be a plan with the lover's energy, Gemini here, they can also be a Gemini or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Leo. Somebody here needs to muster up some courage, but it takes too long of a time. And Libra, I think some of you today are finally realizing you don't have the time, okay? This person's going to come around on an occasion, and you guys know it starts with February 14th. <laughs> 
I always predict this. They're going to come in around that time and try to sweep you off their feet. But this is what's behind it. It's the five of cups. So there's a lot of energy here about being sorry, but not much to do. Not much to do about nothing. Okay, so it's it's like, I want to apologize, I want to come forward, but my timing is very off. And I feel like this person has a lot of things weighing them down to come forward. There's a reason here why this person doesn't want to show up. Okay, um, let's see here. Why is this person not showing up for Libra? What's happening here? What's hindering them? What's the main message of this? Why is this person not showing up currently for Libra? Why is this person delaying even for Libra? Thank you. Door to romance. Planning is what I heard. Planning a certain event. As you can see, you have a lot of red. This is passion. Sometimes it's just sexual energy. There's a lot of this, and I feel like it's lusty Libra. There's some lust behind this. Look at this. Fearful other people are going to come toward you. This is about lust and perhaps not love. Okay? Um, I do want to clarify this in the shorts. I will show you what I reveal a little bit later, okay? Or we'll jump to a part three. Oh my goodness. We have a suspenseful day today. I'll see you then, Lee Brown. <laughs>